Hi, I'm Rito, founder of Computer Technologies, where we sell the world in green and colors. I got my PhD from Stanford Mechanical Engineering Department, where I learned how to make sensors for detecting chemicals using lasers. I was uh, mentored by the best, in the best minds in sensing and uh, understanding the impact of chemicals on people. Stories behind the drill. October 2015, I was looking at the news and I found this news article about a giant natural gas leak in Alisa Canyon, releasing 100,000 tons of methane into the atmosphere. The carbon footprint is equivalent to 9 million cars for 20 years. This is worse than the Gulf of Mexico tragedy. So I went down there and I, measured, I took my first prototype there and I measured methane in the neighborhoods. I found that I am the only one who can generate this plot at this cost. And using this sensor, you can detect small amounts of leak and prevent disasters like this. Other problems with natural gas leak is that it can lead to explosion. So for example, the uh, San Bruno explosion in 2010 led to the death of 10, 8 people and injuries of 58. So natural gas leaks are a very big, consistent evil problem that leads to global warming, uh, loss of fi financial loss, death, and it needs better leak detection to solve this problem. So currently I'm targeting the utilities market, which spans over 300,000 miles uh, in the US, and I can generate 300, 300 million in revenue per year. Then I'll expand to other markets for detecting other chemicals in various other atmospheres, and can generate a revenue of 16 million. Leak detection as it is done today it is very cumbersome and ineffective. Either you spend a lot of money and still not be able to measure it properly, you get a lot of false positives, or you spend a very little amount of money and you cannot measure anything. Or you can think about uh, other types of sensors uh, that are laboratory gate sensors which are large, expensive, and slow. In view, sensors are better, cheaper, and faster in every other way. We do the sensing by using uh, light absorption. We humans see the world in, in a tiny fraction of light, a tiny fraction of spectrum that's out there, compared to what's out there. Uh, lasers, on the other hand, can, can access the entire wavelength region and can split it into a million colors. And with that information, we can detect chemicals. Lasers can be used to design very sensitive sensors for detecting trace amounts of chemicals in air. With that, I can achieve all the required targets for such a sensor, and I can I dominate all the, all the categories that are needed. With sensitive leak detection, uh, uh, it can lead to uh, early leak discovery, and then that can lead to a, a cheaper um, approach to fix it, and then uh, that can save a lot of money. With the money I'm trying to raise now, I'll build a second generation prototype, test it with real customers in Boston and Colorado, and then scale it up acquire funds to uh, scale it up later on. So I predict I need 300,000 to reach to the, to the stage where I'm ready to uh, raise seed money, which would be about 1.2 million. And by the end of 2017, I would have made uh, 1 million in revenue. There's a sensor demo at the back, in the only remaining corner. Uh, there's, a, there's also a sensor, there's a message from BB-8. Please check it out for this. <laughs> India, a sensory upgrade the world deserves. Thank you.